Good evening. Welcome to the December 7th, 2011 Pearl Harbor Day meeting of the Murfreesboro Planning Commission. I'd like to welcome everybody for coming tonight. Before we get into our agenda tonight, I want to recognize the members of Leadership Rutherford that are visiting us tonight. So welcome tonight. Hope you enjoy your time and hope you took your notos before you started here. <laughs> so we have a quorum present, so we'll move on to approve the minutes of the November 16th, 2011 Planning Commission meeting. Are there any additions or corrections to those minutes? If not, we'll declare them approved as submitted. We have three public hearings scheduled this evening, the first of which is a right-of-way abandonment request for Stevenson Drive, General Mills, Inc. is the applicant. Mr. Adelot, good evening. Uh, good evening. Thank you. Uh, the uh, first public hearing is to consider a uh, proposed right-of-way abandonment for Stevenson Drive. This uh, street is uh, located adjacent to the uh, General Mills plant on uh, Butler Drive. General Mills is in the process of uh, implementing significant security improvements to its property uh, as a mandate of the uh, U.S. Department of Environment uh, Protection Agency and the Department of Homeland Security. These improvements are intended to uh, create a single point of ingress and egress to the site. There are two other properties in addition to General Mills. They uh, are uh, aware of this uh, proposal. They both have communicated in writing to me that they are supportive and understand what's uh, being proposed. Uh, in order to uh, move this process forward, we need to have a public hearing to consider this uh, uh, street abandonment. What we uh, will be looking at doing would be uh, closing it to uh, public traffic. Of course, there would need to be a, an agreement worked out uh, to allow for utility uh, providers to be able to get in to access the existing utilities and, and util utilities in the future. Uh, for the uh, city to be able to provide services that we provide, like fire department, uh, first responders. Uh, also for the other property owners to get to their property and do their business. The uh, plan that the uh, General Mills has outlined to uh, me uh, will achieve that. At some future date, after this is approved, we will be looking at a site plan. I think we include a, uh, a scaled-down copy of it for in your agenda materials. Uh, at that time, we will explain to you. At first, it looks very complicated, but once you understand what's been proposed and how it will work, it makes really a whole lot of sense. I've had an opportunity to have a presentation by the uh, designers and the uh, engineers working on the project. They uh, know what they're about. They, they're, they're very serious about achieving a, a well-functioning uh, campus. And I, I want to go back to that word campus. Really what's out there now is quite a bit of a campus. Uh, it's just wide open. And they're really going to try to make it more secure. And this would be good for the uh, consumers, and I think it would be good for Murfreesboro as well. Uh, as I said, we need to have a public hearing on this. The, uh, after the public hearing is over, you need to discuss it and then prepare a recommendation for a city council. Okay. Any questions of Mr. Adelot or of staff before we open? Is there a representative that needs to come forward to speak? Uh, I think Mr. Jamie Gillespie is here. Uh, certainly he's available to answer it, questions. Okay. Any questions for him? Okay. If none, before I open the public hearing, I'll go over briefly the rules that we conduct our public hearings by. We'll open the public hearing. If you'd like to speak either for or against this proposal, please come to the microphone, state your name, and give your address. Hold your comments no more than three minutes, if you would. Make all your comments or questions to the Planning Commission. We'll make note of any questions that you might have, and we'll try to get those answered at the end of the public hearing. All that being said, I'll open the public hearing at this time. Ask anybody to come forward that'd like to speak. Not all at once. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Nobody come forward? Okay, I'll close the public hearing. Any comments or questions by members of the Planning Commission? Mr. Chairman, I, I think we have seen a detailed uh, presentation in, in our earlier meeting. Uh, uh, I think we've gone, all, uh, on, gone over it, and it's, uh, uh, all the questions have pretty much been answered by staff and then the questions we had before. So with that, I'll move for approval. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Motion carries. Moving on to the set, second public hearing of the evening is the proposed renaming of Stevenson Drive to General Mills Way. General Mills Incorporated is the applicant, Mr. Adelon. Uh, yes, sir. Along with the uh, abandonment of the uh, street, General Mills is proposing that we rename the street to uh, General Mills Way. Uh, Stevenson Drive was named in honor of uh, Mr. Stevenson, who owned the property where this uh, area was developed several years ago. Uh, he is deceased now. 
and I don't think any of his family still resides on the street. I, there are no residential structures there anymore. Uh, with the uh, change in the ownership status and its status as a private street, they want to change its name so it really is a, is a clean slate. And also, General Mills dominates the, uh, the campus. Uh, even though it will be a private street in the future, if this is uh, ultimately approved and goes through all the processes, it will still require a name. And we have uh, coordinated with our emergency uh, services to find out if there would be a problem. This uh, name is not duplicated anywhere in our uh, county. It meets our naming protocols, and there is no reason that the city would not be unable to. Uh, there's no reason why the city would be unable to rename it. Uh, in accordance with the protocols, we need to have a public hearing on this as well, and uh, then take action on the matter. Okay. Any questions or comments from the planning commission? <clears throat> If not, I'll open the public hearing and ask anybody that would come forward that would like to speak either for or against this proposal. <coughs> nobody? Seeing nobody come forward, I'll close the public hearing. Comments and questions by members of the Planning Commission? Chairman Lanner, I make a motion we approve. Second. Before I call for a vote, I want to say something, Mr. A lot. Uh, I'm not going to oppose this, and particularly because it's a private street, but I still want to go on record saying I wish the city would revisit our policy about not opposing naming public streets after current businesses. So I voted against them in the past on public streets. Uh, so we, uh, I just want to make that point. I think it's a, a bad precedent to get into. Chairman Lamb, I will be certain that as people approach me about street namings, I will counsel them if that is uh, something that is uh, the subject. It's not a big deal. I just think we went through the deal on Samson I Drive. It lasted a long time, but we still had to change it. So, Okay, the motion has been made and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Motion carries. <clears throat> the third and final public hearing of the evening is a rezoning request for property at 331 East Main Street consisting of approximately 0 0.4 acres from a PCD and H1 to RS10 and H1, Gail Henry's applicant. Ms. Ely, good evening. Thank you. The third and last public hearing of this evening is to consider rezoning property that's located at 331 East Main Street, which is along the north side of East Main Street, just east of North Academy Street and west of North Manny Avenue. The property is currently zoned PCD, Planned Commercial District, and it was zoned, rezoned PCD in 2003 when the applicant requested that the property be, zoning be changed so that she may be able to utilize the house as a residence and as a reception house. Um, the properties to the east of the study area are zoned RS10, Single Family Residential District, and to the west are zoned CH, Highway Commercial District. The applicant is requesting for the zoning to go back to its pre-2003 zoning of RS10, which is Single Family Residential District. The, um, the owner hasn't utilized the house as a reception hall for about the past five years, according to her testimony, and um, is looking to sell the property. And she's had a couple interested buyers. In each case, the buyers are interested only in using the property for residential purposes and have no interest in using it as a reception hall. They also have encountered some problems getting lending under the PCD zone for use that they um, are wanting to be just strictly residential. So you have the application before you to do what um, sometimes is referred to as a down zoning or to go from a, from a zone to a more restrictive zone from PCD to RS10. And so the property would remain in that H1 district, which is our historic district. So that doesn't change either way. And those regulations still apply to the property. So the change will be to rezone the property from planned commercial district to single family residential district. Planning Commission should conduct, should conduct a public hearing before making any sort of recommendation, after which should formulate a recommendation for city council to consider. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them either before or after the public hearing. Any questions at this time? Thank you, Ms. Ely. I'll open the public hearing asking anybody to come forward that would like to speak. I'm making it so easy tonight. <laughs> Nobody? 
Okay, so I'll call, close the public hearing. Any questions from Ms. Ely or the, anybody else on the staff from the members of the Planning Commission? Something. the square root of. <laughs> Chairman, if there's no the questions or comments relative to what we're talking about, <laughs> I will make a motion that we approve this rezoning request. Second. Motion has been made and duly seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. We move right on to staff reports and other business. Mr. Adelot, do you have anything tonight? No, sir. Uh, I will note all of the Planning Commission members have their education requirements. And nobody you you is preempted asking. my question, so that's good. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We appreciate uh, your help on it, Robert, too, getting all that done. So there's no other business coming before this commission tonight. We stand adjourned.